In this kitchen, every meal is prepared with a huge helping of enthusiasm. The meals are headed out to Libya's front lines to feed anti-government fighters. Each one is packed and prepared by young people in the rebel stronghold of Benghazi. Young people could be doing anything. You could be at the beach, you could be hanging out together. Why are you here volunteering? Time is of the essence. It is essential for us to be helping. If we don't feel useful now, when will we ever feel useful? The youth shouldn't be wasting time. The young often think they have all the time in the world, but not here, not after what they witnessed when war came to their city. There's a real sense of community here in Benghazi. Schools have been out for weeks now. The youth are all over town doing all sorts of volunteer projects. Here in this kitchen, they're making about 15,000 free meals per day. Out on the streets, groups of volunteers take care of their respective neighborhoods, putting fresh coats of paint along the sidewalks, weeding and sweeping. When the government ceased to function here, chaos could have descended on Libya's second largest city. Three months on, that hasn't happened. Volunteers even managed to provide a day of entertainment for families displaced by war. This is a welcome relief for Fatima and her family, who fled constant shelling in Mizrata. Back home, all we did is pray and call on God for help. It's really nice here, she says. A. A. Apple. And then there's 19-year-old Mohammed Najid, who took one look at the little faces of children in the refugee camp and volunteered to do something no one ever did for him. I teach them English. I like the language, so I wanted them to learn it. How did you learn English? Did someone teach you? How did you learn? Yeah, no, I uh, actually learned English from TV, movies, and music. B. B. Banana. So he teaches what he knows, hoping these children will learn two lessons, how to speak a new language and how to be a patriot in a new Libya. Libya, Libya, Libya. Sarah Seidner, CNN, Benghazi, Libya.